The waterfall model is the most common example of a traditional software development model. In the waterfall model, development flows linearly in a one-way, step-by-step formal process. There are clear, separate phases including analysis, design, testing and maintenance. The number of stages and the content of each stage may be different for each project, and you may see diagrams online with different words like requirements for analysis or verification for evaluation. OCR specification does not list any specific stages. All requirements are identified early on in the analysis stage. Each stage is fully completed before the next begins. Going backwards is time-consuming and costly. There is limited user involvement as stakeholders or end users typically don't see the product until it's fully finished. Each phase has clear milestones so tracking progress and resource use such as budget can be easily managed. And it's ideal when requirements are unlikely to change and it's often used in regulated or low risk environments. Advantages of a waterfall model include that development follows a strict sequence which is easy to understand and manage. Each stage produces clear documentation such as requirements, designs and test plans. It's easy to manage progress by tracking each stage and team members should know their role. It works well when requirements are known and unlikely to change and technical decisions are made early, reducing uncertainty. Disadvantages of a waterfall model include that it has a rigid nature so it's difficult to go back and make changes once a stage is completed. If requirements change mid-project, progress is usually restarted. Problems may only be discovered in the testing phase, which is near the end. There's limited user feedback, as customers don't see the system until it's almost finished. And a working product isn't available until very late in the development process. The waterfall model is suitable for low-risk projects with clearly defined and stable requirements that should not change throughout development, such as medical or embedded systems. It's also suitable for short to medium term projects where the client is not needed for regular contact. And also where quality and correctness are more important than flexibility, such as government or military software projects with strict documentation. So, the waterfall model is suitable for projects with fixed and stable requirements, regulated or safety critical industries, and experienced teams with clear goals. But it's not suitable if there is a high risk of changing needs, or there's a need for fast prototyping or frequent feedback.